The way you perceive you is the way others perceive you and treat you. Welcome to my series from basic to babbage in less than 30 days. This is week two and we're going to go over three principles and things to keep in mind this week so that you can enter your babbage phase because you fucking deserve it. Stop being a victim in your reality. So number one, we're going to talk about uh, one of the main, main concepts that you need to internalize and make it a belief. Everyone is you pushed out. So what is everyone is you pushed out. Everyone is you pushed out is a Neville Goddard concept. It means that the way you feel about you and see yourself is the way others see you and feel about you. So if you don't feel enough within yourself, that means that other people won't see you as whole and complete. Hence why I'm not going to treat you the way you want them to treat you. So if you're treating yourself anything less than, do not expect other people to treat you in any kind of way. Number two, the importance of setting weekly goals and taking care of ourselves on all levels. It's very important, not just mindset, not just doing manifestation technique. You need to take care of your physical health, your practical matters. You need to know where you're going. You need to set weekly goals. And this should be the most important thing for you and not other people. Okay, mindset essentially inspires you to take care of your health, body, skin, mental health, but it also works in the opposite way. Your routine can affect your mindset as well. So if you can't set the mindset right, you can start with your routine and the mindset will follow. That's all I'm trying to say. Number three, get out of your comfort zone now. All this week, I want you to try getting out of your comfort zone in every single situation throughout your day. For instance, try doing things differently. Try cooking differently. Take a different route to work. Eat healthier foods. Watch something inspiring. You know, take yourself out. This shows your inner child that you're fearless, not attached to your habits or anybody and can change them. So you're in control and that's all they want. Because when you were little, the kid in you wanted you to be in control when they grow up. And now it's your responsibility to take control over your life. And that's where your inner child will just let you blossom because, you know, your inner child is actually messing up with your life, which is your shadow. Because when you're in control, you know, inner child is very happy. When you're not in control, your inner child slash shadow tries to tries to control others which is never a good idea hope you like it and i hope you are and i hope you're not taking these tips lightly and yeah follow for more